Good evening, friends. My name is Reverend Ruth, and this is our very first Bedtime Stories. And uh, we are at the Brighton United Methodist Church and the Rochester United Methodist Church. And we are so excited to host you this evening. I have two stories to share with you tonight mostly because I could not decide which one I wanted to read because both of the stories have to do with things that are happening at this very moment in time. So um, the first one is entitled, Bentley Bear Goes to the Fair. Now, I don't know about you, but when I was a young kid, we went to the fair every year. And this week, I know in the town that I live in, it is our fair week, um, the Lorraine County Fair. And I know that the Randolph County Fair is happening this week. And next week is the Canfield Fair which is where I uh, went when I was a kid. So, without further ado, I'm going to share with you my first story for tonight. It is entitled, Bentley Bear Goes to the Fair. And I promise I will show you the pictures. One crisp October day, Bentley Bear went to the fair. There were so many new sights and sounds, Bentley couldn't wait to share. First, Bentley rode the Ferris wheel. It went so high, he saw the whole city from the sky. Next, he saw a swing that went round and round, but thought it is best to stay on the ground. And here is Bentley at the fair. How many of you have gone to the fair? This little bear sniffed colorful flowers and posed with photos with award-winning farm animals. How could this day get any better, Bentley wondered. Just then, he heard a loud rumble and knew it was time to feed his tummy grumble. Here he is getting his picture taken with an award-winning animal. There were so many delicious smells coming from the food trucks galore. Bentley found it hard to decide which lunch to score. Suddenly, out of the corner of his eye, Bentley spotted a juicy turkey leg that could feed him for quite some time. There's his turkey leg. But if it was me, I would be going for the cotton candy. After lunch, Mama and Bentley Bear headed to the arts and crafts. Here he tried on funny costumes. His favorite was a puffer hat. While there, he even made a new friend named Roxy. They laughed and played until the sun went down. There's Bentley Bear and his new friend, Roxy. Look at all of the paintings that they did. I love their rainbow. As the day came to an end, Bentley Bear said his prayers and laid down, giving thanks for all the fun he had today. And while he drifted off to sleepy land, he hoped to dream of going to the fair again someday.
the end. Well, I hope you did get a chance to go to the fair or will be going soon to the fair. It is a fun, fun time we can have. The other thing that is happening, maybe it, it, it's already happened for some people or will be happening in the next week or so, but people are starting to go back to school. Oh no, or are you excited to go to school? Well, I have a book about going back to school. It's one of my favorites. It's called Llama Llama Back to School. I do like Llama Llama. So here we go. This is Llama Llama Back to School. Summer's here with all its fun. Llama hopes it's never done. Fishing, hiking, slip and slide, backyard camping, picnic time. That looks like a lot of fun. How many of you have had a chance to go camping? And look at there, he has a fishing pole. I wonder if he went fishing too. Hmm. Farmer's Market for Yummy Fruit. Town Square Band plays drums and flute. There he is at the Farmer's Market getting some yummy fruit. And here he is listening to the band. That looks like fun. Mini golf, bike and boat, fireflies, castles, moats, breakfast late, lazy days, all week long for all our play. Isn't that the best part of summer? To be able to play all day. How about that in the hammock reading a book? Backyard picnics, family friends, but fall is on its way again. There's dad cooking some food on the grill and kids playing in the backyard. Oh, and here we are sitting down at the picnic table. But look at this. The color of the leaves are starting to change. That means it's fall and time to go back to school. Well, Mama Lama knows this and she points to the date. School starts soon and it won't wait. Summer's coming to a close. Time to shop for new school clothes. Hot, hot sun. Long car ride. Do I have to go inside? Look at that calendar date circled there. Back to school. And here they are in the car on the way to shopping. Have you done school shopping yet? Swallowed by pants, squeezed into shoes. This is the last thing Llama wants to do. Water bottle, new lunchbox, backpack, sweater, shirts, and socks. Look at all of those backpacks, lunchboxes and water bottles. Oh. Mama spots another store, Llama Wales. My hooves are sore.
Mamas like to shop, don't they? Back at home, pants too long. Mama hems and hums a song. Make the lunch and healthy snacks. Lay out clothes and new backpacks. Tuck and kiss, thoughts so swirly. Morning comes so bright and early. Here he is, tucked into bed. Goodbye to mama. Now school begins. Hello, teacher. Hello, friends. Are you excited to see your friends when you go back to school? Oh, crayons, paper, be on time. Don't push or shove, stand in line. Do not shout, raise your hand, welcome all. Well, here's the plan. There's everybody standing in a line. And there's our teacher, Mr. Zebra. Oh, Miss Zelda, sorry. Miss Zelda, sorry. Lunch at Cubbies, coats on hooks. Clay and paint music books. Do you have a cubby at your school? Look over there. A new someone. He's not happy, not having fun. Here, take mine, we can share. Choose some colors, get supplies, sit next to me, dry your eyes. Yes, like this, hold and glue, way to go, it takes two. They made some friends and learned to work together. How about that? They're spelling out the word school. Now we've all learned something new. Llama, friends, and teacher too. Welcome back to school, Llama says. Have a very, very great year. The end. Friends, I want to thank you for um, hearing two stories tonight. Next week, I will be back here at 7 o'clock, and we'll have one new story for you. But I had to share both of those with you today. Now, I thank you for coming. One last thing we have to do, and then I'm going to say good night. It is time to say a prayer. And so I invite you to fold your hands and close your eyes and repeat after me. Say the same thing that I say. Let's pray. Dear Jesus, Thank you for fairs and fun and summer things. Be with us as we go back to school. Thank you for teachers and friends 
and all that I learn. Watch over me as I sleep tonight. Amen. Well, friends, I thank you for tuning in for Bedtime Stories. And if you would like, you can leave a comment down below. Tell me what city you live in and did you go to the fair? I thank you for being here with me and I will see you next week. Bye.